Welcome back to the show, everyone. This happened last time, too. Forbes got a hold of the Super Bowl ring, and I wasn't allowed to touch it the entire time. I still have not set hands on this thing. Well, you know, it, it's pretty cool, I have to say. <laughs> really and if you cool. want to know how much this thing weighs, it's about 20 pounds. It belongs <laughs> about the same to as me. Super Bowl <laughs> champ Mitch Berger, who's joining us now to tell us what he thinks is going to happen for the Super Bowl coming Hi, up Mitch. on Feb 4th. How are you? Uh, doing very well. Doing important very well. questions first. How many times have you lost this thing uh, since you've had it? Lost or have it, had it stolen from friends? Right, um, right. Either or. They I'm not count. giving it back either. Stolen from friends probably a half dozen times where I woke up the next morning, I didn't know where it was, and I had to call around and figure it out. Now, last time I saw you, it was missing one of these stones, but you've replaced it? Yeah, they send it back to me. It's just got this cool deal. You send it back in a little box. They take it, they shine it, they fix up whatever got messed up. So, as how many times kidding. have you sent it back? Just, just, <laughs> just, just, just once, but it's fixed a couple different problems I had on it. I'm amazed that some of your friends haven't tried to ransom it yet or anything. It's, yeah, uh, no, they. <laughs> have it, but they've definitely given me a hard time and definitely made it tough for me to get back a couple of times. Well, you're not getting <laughs> it back imagine. today. Now, I, I didn't take a close look at it last time, but it does have uh, the score on the side and everything. That's and really stadium, cool. Yeah, there's a lot of detail on it. On one side, it's got my, uh, let's see, that side's got the Raymond James Stadium, and it's got the six Super Bowl trophies on it there and the score to the game. And then, obviously, it's got my name on, that's my favorite side. It's yeah. got your name, <laughs> your name and number on it. And then on top, you got world champion Pittsburgh Steelers. And, then it's and got, a little bit of bling. And then it's got those six big diamonds, means six championships that they've won. Really Pittsburgh cool. Steelers are the only franchise to ever win six Super Bowls. Uh, wow, uh, and they have a very good shot of adding to it uh, yeah. this year. Yeah, I, I kind of want them to win. I kind of don't, because my, my six becomes sort of obsolete if they <laughs> right. win seven. <laughs> well, I was going to ask whether, that, I, mean, I mean, obviously you play for a few teams in your career, but I mean, is there a special attachment when there's a team that you played for, and especially, you know, you have such a special memory? Well, once again, Steelers. my dad was born and raised in Pittsburgh. I've been right. a Steelers fan since I was old enough oh, to so watch TV. I mean, since I was four years old, I was a Steelers fan, and so the fact I got to win it for my dad's team, the Pittsburgh Steelers, was a huge thing. And so I was a, I'm a big fan no matter what. If I even if I wasn't, you know, even never so played there, I'd, are I you happy actually, with the matchup with Green Bay? Pittsburgh? Oh man, that's yeah? the one I wanted. Really? Uh, they're the two best teams right yeah. now. Um, I mean, I thought New England was. Everybody thought New England was, and they got yeah. upset by the Jets. But um, Pittsburgh's playing really well. They got the pedigree. They've, you know, Ben Roethlisberger's going for his third Super Bowl. They got the experience. And then you got Green Bay, who I think is maybe a, just a touch more talented, maybe yeah. on offense especially. Um, they have and, this great history and rivalry too yeah. between the two teams as well. You know, just well, I don't know. There's so much of a rivalry just the fact that the, they're the two really storied franchises. Because yeah. Green Bay had all the great teams when like football first began, yeah. mm -hmm. and then Pittsburgh after the next uh, the decade in the 70s, they were huge. And then neither of them was for a while, and now they're both kind of getting back. To I the guess top what again. I mean is, is uh, you know. Dallas is America's team, and they always had that sort of bling factor. Yeah. You know, they were a shiny toy. Whereas, yeah. uh, you know, Pittsburgh and, and Green Bay, Steel are, City, yeah, yeah, they're just they're grittier. You know what and, I mean? And there's nothing going on in Green Bay. There's nothing, nothing. going on but the Green Bay Packers. I played for them for 24 hours. That was one of, and I, and I, played I did for both not teams. know that. I was, one of my 11 stops in the NFL was my shortest stop. They 24 said, hours. They in signed Green me Bay. the night before a game. They said kick every ball off into the end zone as a kickoff specialist, and if you do, we'll keep you as a kickoff specialist. I had one kickoff. I think it was my second one in the game. I, I, it was, I was a rookie back then. I lost my steps. I got confused where I was making my steps. And I sort of tripped on the way up and chunked the ground and had one bad kick. It one bad kick. And one bad, one bad kick. And it cut me the next day. You're kidding me. Now, what are you going to be doing? Be uh, you're heading off to Dallas on Sunday. What are you going to be doing I'm for the off, week? And yeah, I'm heading off for the whole week. Uh, I'm going to go do the media day. So I'm going to get to see all my old teammates. Um, I'm going to cover it, actually, for uh, t uh, Team 1040 radio station here nice. in Vancouver. And I'm going to do a little work for TSN. That's great. Yeah, so I'm um, trying to get on the other side, trying to get on the other side of the camera. Um, well, I've heard you a lot on Team 1040. I think you're doing a great job. You know, oh, you thank just, you. I appreciate it. I mean, it. not only the knowledge, but there's a nice personality there as well. Well, it's, it's, you know, I, I, try, I try to have Should fun Should I hug him now? Is that, is you that awkward? Him? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't fake it like you. I try to be myself. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't lie. We want to talk about a few specifics with this game. Uh, we're going to look at a, a few pictures. First of all, uh, at quarterback, uh, because a uh, couple of extremely talented guys uh, on both teams, uh, Aaron Rodgers for uh, for Green Bay. What's your what's your breakdown? Well, he's on this the guy? he's the fantasy football king of. Yeah. I mean, he he throws for the most yards, the most touchdowns. Aaron Rodgers, who had big shoes to fill with Brett Favre, yeah, and no uh, he got drafted. He got a chance to sit around and got a chance to learn with Is from Brett him for Favre a while. Is Brett Favre retired? 
He is retired this time. This <laughs> really? time, you, you know, I, gone, I would yeah. have to say he's 100 percent retired. But that's, that's kind of what I like about the Aaron Rodgers story is, is you know, this was a guy who really bided his time. He was really patient during all yeah. that drama. He was really kind of classy about it, and, uh, well, he, and boy, he sees the opportunity. It was great that he got to learn from the best. He got yeah. to learn from a great guy, and he got a chance. He wasn't ready right away. He's one of those guys who needed a few years to get groomed, and it happened. And then his first year in, he did a really good job. Favre had a great year, so they're like, did we do the right thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They did the right thing. He's they a sure great did. quarterback. He's he can he's the second best running quarterback in the NFL yeah. behind Michael Vick too. And so what about Ben Roethlisberger? Am I ben, saying his name right? Yeah, ben. ben Roethlisberger. Roethlisberger. He's got that burger in there, so that's always good. Um, but <laughs> a little bit of controversy. But yeah, he does. But he also, you know, he's a he's one of those guys who's a great competitor. When he drops back to throw, that's not really what he's his best. It's when a guy hits him, he scrambles, he extends yeah. the play, and when he extends the play is when he makes his best plays. There are certain guys too that are just big game players. Like they are, and, you know, they've just yeah. got that gene, they've got that cool, whatever yeah. it is, and you know, he is. He's a big game player. He's two and zero in the Super Bowl. He's got a great chance to be three and zero. I'd say it's a 50-50 shot. I really think the game is really that even, and it could go either way. With the talent, I go Green Bay. With the experience, I go Pittsburgh. And now, because and you're working at the Super Bowl, how do you watch it when you're you're there? Well, I'm gonna be. Um, I was gonna maybe get a ticket and sit with some of my old teammates' families and just watch it and enjoy it. But it turns out that I'm gonna be going as press. I got a media credentials, so I'm gonna be actually doing the I media thing. I have to thing. be with those losers. And I actually oh have. I got, I got locker room access after the game as well, so I'm actually gonna be in the. Give I'm, me that. I'm gonna be in the locker room with the teams as well. Oh, well, there's some. <laughs> That's there's some ladies feel. in there. There's, there's there there ladies. <laughs> when we won the Super Bowl my year, I was actually on the. Ellen DeGeneres show the next day. My my ass was. Oh, that's was. right. <laughs> I forgot. My ass Is was. Your underwear? Is because they had, a, they, they had a contest. Somebody from Pittsburgh and somebody from Arizona, and the winner got to go in the locker room, talk to some of the players, that. and ask us to wear these boxers. It's got a big handprint on the ass, and it says "slap here to congratulate me." And so nobody <laughs> else. Are you still every, wearing every, Everybody was. I'm not wearing any underwear actually right now, but everybody else, everybody else was. I didn't just, need to know that. <laughs> I didn't need to know that. Everybody else was. Uh, everybody else was just holding them up, and I was like, forget this. I. I, I I geared down, on. threw them on, and got the whole shot. Because apparently you need to wear some. I got I on the Ellen, hey, I got on the Ellen no, DeGeneres show. I wanted to talk about one other thing, and it's not directly related to the Super Bowl, but there's been a lot of conversation about it. Uh, uh, Jay Cutler, uh, of course, uh, quarterback for the Bears. Man, he just got ripped yeah. when he sat down in the game. Uh, yeah. What's your opinion on this whole thing? Well, you know, it's, he's got a, he had a sprained knee ligament. I mean, yeah. he only knows what he can handle with his knee. Certain positions you can get by in a game, you can brace it up, and you can make it if maybe you don't have a lot of movement. But in that game, he was getting killed. They weren't protecting him. He was getting hit all yeah. game. He had to move around. He had to be able to scramble. And if he couldn't scramble and he couldn't plant and throw, he was going to be no good to his and team. And a lot of people said that he just quit the game and, and, it turned, and, and that he was faking. Or? A big part of it with him, though, is because of his facial expressions. He looks like he's not yeah. interested. He looks so aloof. He looks like he doesn't care. And his teammates that all know him and see him and are out with him and are buddies with him, they understand who he is. But the way he looks to the rest of the country, including to me when I look on TV, he looks like a guy yeah. who just doesn't care. I, I thought it was really interesting. I mean, the next day, Erlacher, uh, of course, the they all coach. stuck up for him. They really stuck yeah. up for him. And, and, you know, Brian Urlacher especially, he's not a guy yeah. who, who sort of bides his tongue. You know, if he believes something, he's going to say it. Yeah, he if, he really didn't like it, he would, if he didn't like him or didn't like what he does, he would say it. And it's just that you, you don't know unless you're playing the position, unless you have that knee. Some people can take more pain than others can. Yeah. And obviously the coach decided that he wasn't going to help them win because he just couldn't move. He'd ruin his whole career if he doesn't quit when he needs to. Well, possibly, but it's just in that game, people don't want to hear that either. You're in, no. the, you're in yeah. Chicago. I don't care if you ruin it. This game is all that matters. Yeah. And that's, <laughs> Yeah, and, right. and I don't think he would have got hurt really bad by going back in, but if he couldn't plant, he couldn't make his throws, he couldn't scramble, he was useless anyway. Yeah. Now, do you want to talk about what's his name market. who tied your record for, uh, is it touchbacks? I don't yeah. even know what a touchback it, is, but I have the who NFL record dude? for yeah. touchbacks what on, was it? Was on, it on kickoffs. 40 in a year? It was, it was 40. That's obscene, man. And well, the funny in that year is the year we broke the NFL scoring record, so I had a lot of opportunities as well. And I had another 40 that were brought back from five yards deep in the end zone, taken out of the end zone, so it could have been a lot bigger. But this Billy Cundiff, Who's not my favorite guy in the <laughs> NFL? He's a, he's a guy I have some uh, personal issues with. I don't really like. Well, him you much. guys played together. Uh, we right did at one point briefly in New Orleans when we went. Uh, when did we he have a little bit of two? Lost, is that what it was? When we lost to the Bears in the in the NFC Championship game, another chance I had to go to the Super Bowl. We lost to the Bears that year. He actually, I was injured that year, and he came in as one of my replacements, and we didn't get along very well. Hard to feel good for a guy tying your record. But you know what? I have to say the one thing about him, though, is that he actually did it at a better pace than I did. He he did it at about a 50% clip. I did it at about yeah. a 40% clip. So he actually had, you know, uh, he had more touchback, a better percentage than I did. Yeah. So well, I'll, he had an I'll, opportunity. I'll, to I'll give him that respect. At least watch one of the best in the game. Mitch. I'll give him that respect. Does he have one much. of these? Thanks, man. 
he doesn't have one of those. Really? And so that, <laughs> That's really unfortunate. He that is not. unfortunate. I should actually send him an email. I'll just, um, just send him a picture of it, maybe, with yeah. the burger uh, side up. Okay. Mitch, thank you. Have a great thank time you. down in Dallas. I uh, look forward to hearing some of your stuff on the Team 1040 here and uh, seeing some stuff on TSN. Do you really want to? There you go. Uh, we're going to take a break. Oh. And when we return...